so fab that's recording now so it's a real pleasure to see so many of you joining us um, a big thank you to Richard and Lucinda and the Active Learning Special Interest Group for putting this session on today and it gives me great pleasure to hand over to them for get involved uh, with the Active Learning SIG. Thank you Richard, thank you Lucinda. Thanks Kerry and welcome everybody. So I'm just going to share um, my desktop here. I'm using um, near pod today so hopefully it'll come in if I've shared the right screen that's quite slow I'll post it in the chat you can join via near pod and hopefully I'll get this um, Shared soon. You love it when the plan comes together, don't you? Okay. I'll hopefully, I'll try a different way to do it. doesn't seem to be able to allow me to share my screen, which is great fun. Anyway, we'll go to plan B um, at this point. So in in the actual um, chat, I've posted a link to the Nearpod session I'm going to run through. So if you have another tab opened or another device, um, you can just follow along on your screen or on your device. OK, I was hoping to share it on the screen as well, but it's not going to work. So. Um, best laid plans and all that so we'll just keep on going yeah so you can watch 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 the pod link and you can follow on your device so it's going to share it on the screen as well but that doesn't really matter um so yes welcome Hi, do you want me everybody. to share it for you richard yeah if you can get, get yeah. it working and you share that and i just drive it from here that'd be great okay don't know what's going on computer's got the jitters i had teams open earlier so i think it's probably the issue um so yeah welcome um i'm for those who don't know who I am, I, I'm, I'm Richard Beggs and I'm chair of the Active Learning Special Interest Group um, along with um, Elizabeth Lando from City University. I work at Ulster University, which you can probably tell from my accent. Um, and I, I think Active Learning has been key to my practice for the last number of years and it's something um, we want to drive forward um, in particular um, across different sectors. but. I don't want to spend too much time about who I am, um, but you can see from the from the slides there. What, what I want to know is who you are. Okay, so you've got this um, collaborate pin board. So what I want you to do is um, on your devices, just just give us your name, your role, and what your interest is in active running. Um, so we get to know one another a wee bit. I think what, what we try to do in our sessions is try and encourage a bit of active running to happen, um, an activity to happen within within them. So um, if you just want to go ahead and post stuff. And we can see Carrie typing, which is great. So the whole point of this session today is, is try and encourage others to get involved and, and do different things. And we'll get more to that later. Um, but if you want to go ahead and just start posting stuff in there, here we go. We've got some coming through. Um, thanks, Lucinda and Rob. Yes, Rob, um, I visited Northampton back uh, a few years ago and saw your lovely campus um, and everything you've, you, you, you've done there. That was great. Um, Super, and I think um, the thing we try to do with the community is to get others from other sectors to kind of share practice and learn from one another as well. So it's um, it's good to see that there's um, colleagues joining and there's a colleague from Ulster there as well. Hey, Brant. Great. Now, there's other things you can do in this. Like you can put photographs and like and different things in there, but it just breaks things a little bit. Um, Right, I'm not going to spend too long on that. So I think most people have posted stuff up. If you haven't posted and you're about to, please do it now before I move on. Otherwise, you'll get 
dragged out of it. Okay. Right. So, how did this all start? Um, this all started because of the the um, the alt um, emails that, that come through, um, and uh, a colleague in in City University of London, Elizabeth Lando, was um, querying how to use Nearpod with something a, a few years ago, before COVID anyway. So I was going over um, to do a thing in digital storytelling at City, and uh, we arranged to meet up in a coffee shop and. For those eagle-eyed people here, you will know that this is not a cafe in London. It's one in Paris, but it looked nicer than the ones that I could find in London. But we met in London, we had coffee, and we came up with this idea for this special interest group to try and, and get others from different sectors together and to share practice, not just DHE, but FE, um, at private sector, primary school, post-primary, those sort of things. Because um, we can all learn from one another. Um, and I think sometimes we can get stuck just working in our own sectors. And why why was the focus active running? Um, well, I suppose I've been doing stuff around active running on apps for a number of years, but we learn by doing. Everybody knows that we learn no matter what it is, we learn by doing. And who doesn't love a cute kitten trying to do a bit of weeding in the garden? Um, and the drive behind that was was obviously from my own personal um, experience was the learning spaces that we had, um, although not exactly like this, but I love the a lovely learning space, um, were more traditional, set out in rows, those sort of things. And it was about, at that point, trying to um, enable and facilitate active learning to hap happen in these types of spaces. Um, and and that was the driver for me that pushed things forward. And then when Elizabeth and I were talking, it was just about how we can actually share that and, and grow the community around that. And again, for my personal experience, it was about trying to get different spaces designed up um, where people can interact with technology and active learning in different ways. Um, and the driver was our new campus in Belfast. You can see here the artist rendition, which is open next week. Um, and it's a fantastic space. But what we wanted to do was try and, and, and utilize technology um, and drive things forward and that was driving forward change at Ulster and others could learn from that and that's kind of started that practice was sharing outside the institution and then working with different colleagues from different sectors to try and build that community up and we've done that over the last couple of years and over COVID and different things and I think it's been really useful for people to have somewhere to talk and share practice and find that you're not alone a lot of the time and other people can help um, and learn from one another. And for those who haven't had their lunch yet, I do apologize, it might make you a bit hungry, but it's the, the key thing about this is, is sharing and collaborating um, and across sectors and, and, and learning from one another, sharing, and there's there's just that whole ethos throughout this, um, this interest group that we want to get other people involved. We want to hear what you're doing, what fantastic things you're doing, uh, and give you a platform to share that so others can learn from you too. Um, so this is what this is all about. It's about sharing um, active learning and uh, active learning. I know this is also active learning around the, the um, learning technology aspects of it, but it doesn't have to be driven by the technology. Um, it can also be, you could be in a classroom writing stuff on whiteboards and using technology to cat capture that and then share it um, through the VLA or through other, some other platform. Um, and yeah, that's what we're trying to do is get thinking about the, the kind of pedagogies around it and then technology that comes out of that. Um, Rob, yes, there is a desk meal for the group. I'll, I'll, I've got that in the next wee while. I'll share that with you. Okay, we're going to do a wee activity here. So I want you to draw. This is where um, everybody gets terrified. <laughs> it does not have a brilliant drawing. I want you to draw what drives you to embrace active learning. What is it? Um, so we'll give a few minutes to we'll spend on this. Um, and it could be because it makes you happy. Okay, it could be anything you want it to be. You can draw, you can type, you can put an image up if you, if you don't feel comfortable. Um, so that's perfectly fine. I'm interested, in, this is the bit I always love, seeing what wonderful things people come up with.
and I, I know this this drawing tool is a bit rudimentary. Yeah, happy smiley face. Thanks, Kerry. And I, I think um, I was going to share my screen and, and, and draw something as well. And I think it's nice that Kerry's done that so we can see somebody else doing it. It kind of adds to it. Um, yeah, I've, I can see them all coming in here. I'll, I'll go through and share them um, in a minute whenever everybody's submitted. And the thing about this is it doesn't have to be uh, a Picasso or a Da Vinci. It's just us trying to get across something visually. Okay, so we've got a few submitted. So if we give you another few seconds here and or minutes and if you want to submit it, if you're happy with it. Yeah, the do, Brian. Okay, I'll wait, because uh, if I start sharing these, then your lovely pictures will be, if you don't submit, they'll be gone forever. So I'll give you a few minutes, and then just submit it when you're ready. Angelica, um, I'm not sure if you saw that the start, the we're using the AirPod. Um, so if you join that, you should be able to um, see the, the tool um, instructions there. Okay, it's great because I can see them all, but I'll, I'll share them onto your devices in a minute. Um, Okay, we're getting on one or two others just to submit. Like give Angelica a few minutes here to, to get up and running. But yeah, it's um I I love the comment from Chloe about the the cigarette and I'll show you <laughs> I'll show you what that means in a minute. <laughs> it's a part it's a, a a party popper, not a great. Um so what I'll do, I'll start sharing these and you can you can start seeing them on your devices. Um okay. So hopefully you can see, yeah, this is, um, I'm not going to say who who done them because I don't think that's fair at this point, but yeah, it's brain, thinking, chatting, happy chatting, discussing, and I think that's, yeah, that's, that's it. It's getting people, um, the social aspect of learning and pulling that out. Um, and then just making people happy making you happy, making other people happy. Again, there's a, a, a consistent theme coming across here about making people happy um, or not making them fall asleep, um, as Brian's put in here. Yeah, student engagement, interaction, better tutor activity. And I think um, none of us well, I'll speak, speak from my own personal experience. I don't enjoy three-hour lectures. <laughs> um, I don't enjoy delivering them. I never enjoyed receiving them. But when it's split up into chunks um, and people are doing things, it's just you get them to put things in the context. You get them to understand it and apply it, and get to know your peers and learn from each other. Yeah, it's just it's better all around for everybody. And obviously in this tool as well, if somebody doesn't feel comfortable drawn um, or it's too complicated to draw, then get an image and put it up and you can see the, the cogs of how things work. I like this one here. Joined up learning, learning together, accessibility. Yeah, it, it, it just gives that um, whole inclusive aspect and, and it makes it more um, designed for everybody. Um, Obviously, depending on what way the session is designed, but yeah. Um, and here's the um, party popper, not a fancy cigarette. Yeah, so stop people falling asleep and making them enjoy themselves. And the last one is just fun. Okay, so super. Thank you for doing that. And it does, it does kind of 
break the monotony if you have to listen to me so much when you're actually doing stuff. So what we're going to do now is um, talk through the process of getting involved. We want to get these involved. Um, there'll be opportunities. I've got questions a section at the end, so you can chat and talk and um, say whatever you want. Um, but we want to get more people involved um, outside the steering committee and, and be more of a, a community um, that's that's shared their own practice. So that we've we've come up with a, a form. Okay, it's a, a simple form. I'll, I'll link to that in a second. Um, so just it's a Google form. Your your email address gets captured. Stick your name in. Um, and if there's any particular dates, if, if we'll, we'll make more sense in a second um, when I tell you the opportunity. But if you're delivering a webinar, um, they're from one to two o'clock, 45 minutes and 45 minutes questions. And they can be as many as you want to do, um, as long as they align to the themes, which I'll get to in a second. Um, and then any preferred contact details if you a different email address or a mobile or whatever it might be. Um, and then what activity would you want to do? Is it a webinar? Is it blog we've got a blog we're looking for people to write um, guest blog posts um, we've done a Twitter chat uh, a wee while ago and uh, that was very successful and if anybody wants to get involved in that or ideas for those sort of things please come forward there's no such thing as a silly idea we just want to help support people sharing their practice around active running if there's anything else you can think of anything other exciting uh, thing you want to do with a new type of platform or whatever it might be yeah I just want to hear gives a small description of what it is and then just tick the themes. Um, these are the themes around the special interest group. Um, and any themes there that you think that that aligns because it really, for, the, for this purpose, it needs to align um, to this group. Otherwise, there's other groups you go and share, share it with. Um, yeah, so learning environments, physical, digital, apps, technologies, toolkits. Yeah, you can see them all there. Active learning is the, the, the core one there. Um, or authentic types of assessment because if people um, are, well, we follow a constructive alignment approach. Um, I'm sure you are all similar um, in institutions at Ulster. And obviously, assessment's key to that. Um, and if you're getting people to um, produce authentic things that are for their careers going forward, they're actively doing it um, through the assessment. So yeah, active running comes through very strongly in that. Um, so one thing we do ask for is some sort of interactivity. Um, and that can be as simple as getting people to post um, emoticons in the chat or indeed use another tool or use the polling tool or something like because I've used Nearpod here um, within Nearpod I could then also embed VVox or Mentimeter as well so people only join through one device or one platform and then everything's pulled together so whatever it might be would encourage interaction and it might just be um, the interaction that is just using the chat at certain points um, that is up to you but we'll want some interaction at certain points so people aren't um, um, getting them at board. The thing in here and keep engagement is agreement to be recorded. So we, we would really like these sessions to be recorded to be shared for others. So um, we we'll prefer it if you you would agree to be recorded. Although if you wish that for it not to be recorded, that will not be a barrier. Um, but we would our preference would be for it to be recorded. Okay, so that, that's the link to the form. Okay. Um, so you should be able to get access to that link now. If not, I, I'll, I'll post it in the, the chat as well. So you, I'll probably just post that in the chat now so you have access to it. But it should come up in your devices, but I'll, I'll put it in as well. We'll do no harm. Okay, so please, anybody wants to get involved, just go ahead and submit it um, and we're fairly flexible when it's going to be there to you. Um, the platform we use is at this moment in time is Blackboard Collaborate for webinars and things um, and that's recorded and then it's put on the the alt um, YouTube channel as well so yeah it gives a wider impact. Um, there's the link to the Put that in the chat as well. I've got it in the next slide actually. Um, a link to the mailing list. If anybody wants to get join up the mailing list, we're kick, we're getting that up and running more. Um, if anybody wants to get involved in actually writing their mailing list, um, and volunteer for that. That's another option. If anybody wants to get more involved, they can. Um, and it's really just advertising things to do with active running. Um, every single again, wider than this group, just anything that's going on. Um, 
about this, try and encourage other communities, um, people to engage with that as well. Um, so yep, that's the mailing list. So you can just sign up for that um, and, and that will be approved fairly quickly. I just want to uh, just advertise this slightly, not a big advertisement, but um, I was involved with some chapters and see some colleagues on here as well were involved in, in this. And this is a fantastic resource for active learning. Um, if anybody wants some inspiration, this is a great open online book um, with Sharon practice uh, across across the HE and, and, and further wild. And there's some people from Ireland, Australia and different places have submitted. So yeah, if you're looking for some inspiration, um, there's definitely some good stuff in here. There's sections around technology as well. So yeah, I would encourage you to have a look at that book. It's really, really good. A lot of effort went in that. Um, there's the wee link. Um, that's from the Active Learning Network. Okay, so you can see a bit here about the the, the, the Active Learning, we've got a web presence here. Um, the link's there, so you can go and have a look. There's recordings of webinars that were done last year. You can see the, the, the committee members. Um, there's wee Flipgrid things there. There's resources to get people thinking about active learning in there as well. Um, and then the blog, um, but we're briefing that blog up over the next year with a lot of guest posts. So definitely if anybody's interested in the blog posts, um, get involved, get involved, volunteer, and we'll get you up and running on that. Um, and that feeds into the wider um, alt blog as well, as far as I'm aware. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Carrie, there. So yeah, no, I don't think it does at the moment. I think that it's separate. That's but it the will. plan. Yeah. Yes, that's the plan. Okay, and then so you can you can link through there. So what we'll do now, um, we'll open it up, and, and this is meant to be a, a, a graphic for questions, but it looks a bit odd. Actually, want to see it now in reflection. So anybody, anybody um, want to grab the microphone and get a chat? Um, grab the microphone. We're not fussy here. Um, about people talking, so um, we might we'll stop the recording now, if that's okay, Kerry. Yep, no problem. I'll stop that now. Um, Richard, just a request from Chloe for the bit 